the shot! Take the shot! Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Oh, that's oddly appropriate. Oh, so is that as well. Oh, poor bright light. Anyways, Merry Christmas, everyone. I've got a special treat for you. I'm a very big fan of the first and second Harry Potter game. So for you guys on this special day, I'm going to play the last one they made. The bad one. Or at least one of the few bad ones. Maybe there might be more. But it took me a long time to find this. I bought it. It's just as pretty much as bad as everyone says it is. They turn it into a third-person shooter, but it's a great way to celebrate the new year by looking at how crummy this game is and making fun of it. There are going to be a few technical issues that we're going to run into throughout this playthrough. It's also the first time I've really ever done one of these, so I hope you guys are forgiving of it, but I also hope you have a fun time. And here's old Voldy, touching old, gunning old necrophilia. Hey, I like your wood. Oh my god, so bad. Oh, you want some fine acting here? Here we go. Look at this. Grip. I need to get inside Grip. I need to get inside into the, vault. the vault. It is impossible. Alone, yes. With you? No. <laughs> the sword of Gryffindor. So riveting. It's my price. Bruh. Oh, we're in the vault now. We're in Gringotts. What's that? Going after the first okay. Horcrux. I should have known. Ripper, what is that? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. All right, well that didn't My work out. Spanish Inquisition wrong. interfered you there. Like you again. Oh, you look like you. Oh my! Wow. So, as I said, this game is a third-person shooter. Yeah, like the cover wall cover, just like Gears of War. But did you know? That Harry's got a Mac Daddy. He's got a fully loaded. You're off the fucking chain. Look out, Harry. Oh, we got a Protecto out. Shield. I know about close quarters combat. Oh, this looks like a pretty this solid bridge. bridge. Yeah, it does. What? Oh my. Ooh. That's rough. Sorry, mate. That's a huge bitch. As well as having a automatic weapon, Harry also has heat seeking. This is loaded 2 0. Spells. Good copy. Buster strike away. Splash. Good kill. Take this. Splash. Good kill. Ah. Uh, this is where the Horcrux is. And a the moment Horcrux. of the game that I'm actually kind of surprised did not up. crash the game. This they should be causing massive FPS drainage. Like, everything Weapons should be crash. moving at right. a snail's pace, Harry. but somehow... Look at that! Look how good that is! It's not crashing! You get a little bit of it here, but I'm really impressed. They probably put all the money into this one scene. Well, so far, he had to work so hard to get to that. That pile of, like, three feet tall. Not even... Look at it. It's still so we tiny. Deal, oh, the greatest betrayal. Well, we're going to get our own way out of here on this big dragon. Come on. That looks like it has been seeing some massive... Malnutrition. I don't even know how this thing would fly. It's been underground for God knows how long, but it just breaks those stone pillars. I love this. This is hilarious. Oh, and then we're gonna get one of Ron's classic lines. That was brilliant. Terrifying, but brilliant. Uh, brilliant. Oh, here we go. We're dropping. I say we jump. Why there? That's just the worst idea. Oh. Okay. Well, now we're going to skip a little bit further into the game, particularly to actually, I would say, my favorite part Harry. of the game is when Neville Longbottom becomes a badass. There's a Horcrux at Hogwarts, something to do with Ravenclaw. 
so this part here, we've actually run out of audio. For some reason, the ca the caption just lost all the audio. So we're gonna make up for it. We're gonna add in our terrible accents. Oh yeah, I've got it, Neville. I'm setting up some sort of light bulb. Ah, oh, take this, you scavengers. Good job, Neville. You're doing a really good job. Actual dialogue from the game. But admittedly, this is boring. I really hate the part with Seamus. So how about we just skip this to the good part, hey? <laughs> so we set all the bombs, and now Neville's going to come in and save the day. Take the shot! Take the shot! Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Double kill. Triple I kill. remember. I remember how to Over cap your kill. ass. Kill. Spectacular. Boom. Kill. Atrocity. Good copy. Buster strike away. Black. Kill him. Jar. Kill. Catastrophe. Kill Apocalypse. Killionaire. I mean, my heart's beating. My heart's beating. My hands are shaking. My hands are shaking, but I'm still shooting. And I'm still getting the headshots. It's like boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Literally takes on the entire Death Eater army all by himself. Absolute stud. And now we've got this part where he's being chased by Scabiar. I don't even know who he is. And definitely the thumbnail of this video. Later in the game, we see Maggie take on this troll in a quick time event. She actually gets one of the two quick time events in this entire game. I find it very funny. Alakazam, bitch! Woo! And then we have a Michael Bay moment where they're going through the underground area with the flaming dragons chasing him. And now, the super serious moment. Harry Potter, come to die. <laughs> I will kill you. Oh, Monica Banana! Whoa, look at this. Where am I? Oh, oh, hello there, Harry. Oh, Dumbledore, what are you doing here? Oh, I have come to show you this very slapped together cutscene. Well, sir, isn't this from the movie? What about the road rotting Voldemort under the table? No, we can't show that. What about all the other elements? Oh, Harry, you have to understand that this really is just some very bad tie-in to the movie. You really have your own choice. But, sir, there's still so much to talk about. I, I feel that, that this is nowhere near as much explanation as this game should be giving. We don't have the budget for it, Harry. Don't you understand? I am only in here as a tagline. Once you get further on in the game, it's actually going to get even more ridiculous. But, sir, really? Yes. More quick time events, more chasing through halls, levels that really just have no meaning being in this game. I feel that we could have had something great. Do you remember when the games were good, sir? I remember when they were good. Yes, Harry, but that was a long time ago. And let's be honest, that Hogwarts mystery game is probably going to suck major balls. All right, let's take it. Oh. Yeah, say, let's do this, Voldy. Give me your wand, now, boy. No, there you go, Harry. Ah! Oh yeah, containing, fighting, shooting their weird ice cream flavored laser at each other. I like Sherbert. No, my mint cream. Ah! Oh no, I'm out of the movie. And there we go. That is the very, very quickly put together little let's play I did for you guys. Now I'll admit that there's a lot to be desired. I was really hoping that I didn't have just one bit to use for audio, but I hope you guys are understanding of that. And let's be honest, even though this game's actually quite cruddy, the best part I would say about this game is what comes at the very end after this part where Harry says goodbye to his terribly named children. 
they go on a little bit of a retrospective uh, of all of the games that came before. The first game, The Philosopher's Stone, I remember playing this on my, P my dad's PC as a kid. It was still so buggy of a game and my computer sucked that all of this was in slow motion, but it was still so fun to play. And then we're gonna jump into Chamber of Secrets, which is by far one of my favorite Harry Potter, let alone movie-based title games of all time. It's still goddamn classic. Harry Potter Quidditch Cup. This game really doesn't work, but it's still very, very fun to play. Hey, so fun. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, I actually never got around to playing, but I heard it was okay. But if the music you're hearing in the background, this is actually a lot of Jeremy Soule's work. Yeah, Goblet of Fire did not play. I did not like the idea of a top-down blaster adventure game. Just didn't look fun. Order of Phoenix kind of went back to the roots from what I heard. A lot of exploring Hogwarts. I actually heard this was the last really good one. And then the Half-Blood Prince was okay, but I heard there was a lot of re repetition. And the Deathly Hollows Part 1, I've watched a few people play through this, and apparently you can just go right through the whole thing. Anyways, guys... Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope y'all are enjoying your Christmas day. Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year.